Are you looking to onboard a new client for your chatbot? Well, friends, it can be real complicated to get you in the right spot admin wise on Meta right now. Meta just changed everything. I mean, they change everything all the time, but I'm gonna show you how you can get into Meta Suite as an admin so you can start building for your chatbot. You can send this step-by-step -step tutorial to your client, or you can go through the steps with them in an onboarding Zoom to assure that you have all the correct access in order to properly build those AI chatbots both on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, wherever you want them to be building in the meta platforms, you need to know how to do this and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's get into it. So first things first, we need the admin who's currently the owner of the page, has to be the owner, to go into their page and they need to log in as their page. In this case, I'm gonna scoot on over to Stellar Media Marketing. And over on the left-hand side, you're gonna go to Meta Business suite and down here where it says setting you'll click there and now you're in your meta business suite and you'll see this area called users it actually opened right to it but it's under users and people now if you're a chatbot builder you're going to need full access and if you have a client who's nervous about this then you need to make sure it is in your contract and you should always be using a contract when working with clients that says number one that you have an nda non-disclosure so you're not going to go and tell everybody their secrets and number two they own all of their assets assets. You know, you have to protect yourself, but you also need to protect your client and that protects you in the end. So we're going to go to invite people. And here you're going to add the user, have your email. If you're the chatbot builder, if you're the client and you own the page, you're going to add whoever it is that you need to add to onboard you as your chatbot builder. And it's going to be their email address here. So we are going to do that. We're not going to do either of these. We'll go to next. We are going to say we want them to be able to do everything. I'm not going to give them financials and next. Now you're going to pick what are the assets for building chatbots. We're going to need both face and Instagram. And then what are the access? What are they going to be able to do? So if we just say partial access here, they're only going to be able to access things through the meta suite. If we say everything, this is also just business. This is for Instagram. So if we say everything, which is what we need to do, this is going to include doing ads, giving access to all kinds of things. But the one thing it can't do is the person who created the Instagram account can never be denied access. So we're going to say yes, everything. And then for face, we're going to go down here to everything. It is absolutely necessary. So next, it's going to be a review. We're going to give all access to these two things. You have to give full control if you want your chatbot to be set up and set up correctly. So full control, full control, send the invitation and you're done. Now that person's going to receive an email from Facebook. And if they don't see it, Tell them to look for an email from Facebook, but you can go here and you could say, I want to resend it. You can also cancel the invite. The other thing you can do is once they're in here, you'll see that they're active. Like myself, I'm active in my own account. You can assign assets. You can change those permissions and all that good stuff. But one thing, just to be clear, just because you're giving someone full access does not mean that they can delete you as the admin. So I am the main like super admin and only I myself can remove this person because I was the one who created this page. I was the one who created this meta suite account. So I cannot be removed by anyone but myself. So you're only giving full access to do everything else. And of course you're protected because you have a contract. So that's how you add someone in the meta suite. Now keep in mind, you can absolutely do it the old fashioned way where you go into the settings and you have to add the person that way. But remember when you do it that way, you have to be friends with that person. I like my clients, but I don't wanna be friends with all of them on Facebook. So let's just keep it simple and do it the way I just showed you. Now I've also included a step-by-step guide, like a very simple guide. You can click down below in the link that I provided in the description that also gives you the step-by-step -step on how to do this process so that you can either create your own guide that you can use for your onboarding, or you can send it to your clients and say, follow these steps. However you want to do your onboarding, this is going to be helpful for you. So you don't even have to review this video over and over again. You can just follow the steps. So I hope you found this helpful. Let me know what kind of questions you have down in the comments below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe and then also check out some of the videos that I have popping up for you right now because if you're an AI chatbot agency, these videos, including the one I just showed you, are going to be massively important for you. So check them out. Thanks for watching.